Hello and welcome to my description of the OSX 1000 module. My name is Andrew Davis, I'm an academic in the School of Ocean Sciences and I'm in charge of overseeing the tutorial module, which basically means that I keep an eye on its performance, deal with all the paperwork in the background. For this module, the most important person that you'll know will be your personal tutor. They will be the primary contact for everything that you do. I have a relatively little role in anything that you engage with. I basically deal with marks, take the marks in, I track students to make sure that you're doing okay, and then I report these to various boards at the end of the year to make sure that you've passed, etc., and can move on to the second year. So, you will meet your personal tutor on the first day that you are at university, which is usually the school's induction day. You meet your tutor over lunch and they will bring the paperwork with them that describes this module. They will also explain several things as to what I'm going to go through in this short video. So firstly, the tutorial module is really about getting you to engage with your tutor and creating almost a safe environment with a small group of your colleagues between five to ten, usually as well as your tutor will then be involved in doing small group exercises such as writing practice, presentation practice. These small groups really about helping you develop the confidence to communicate science in this safe environment. In timetable, you will see that there's many slots booked. Usually Monday, Tuesday, etc. There's an hour slot available on several days. These are not for you to turn up to every single one. You should wait until your tutor has contacted you, usually by email, to organise the tutorial session for the coming weeks. They're just placeholders where everybody in the school is available so that we can facilitate tutorials being arranged. You must wait for your tutor to contact you before you turn up anywhere. They will tell you where it is and they will also tell you what time they should give you some idea of what you're going to do as part of that particular session. You should expect to have five tutorials minimum in the first semester and five tutorials minimum in the second semester. So the tutorials are very much at the discretion of your individual tutor. They will set formative work which allows you to gain feedback and develop them, your skills in practice environment. They may give you grades, but those marks will not constitute towards your final mark for the module. So it's really about gaining experience and practice. You must use the feedback. You must use your tutor. You must use the module in order to improve. This is the, one of the best times where you get lots and lots of feedback on how to write, how to present, how to develop arguments. So you must really engage with this project. So basically your tutor will report to me if you miss two or more tutorials and then I will find you, I will track you down, I will email you, find out why you're not attending or engaging with the tutorial module. So it's vitally important you do because if you don't then I'm going to come knocking, find out what's going on and try and sort out any problem. If you do have a genuine problem, there's no problem. Okay, we'll talk about it, I'll try and help you. But if you are just skiving off, you're not engaging with the process, then I may have to refer your case to the head of school for discussion. The primary reason behind this is because you probably end up failing the module. And students who do fail this module fail more. So it's really about catching any problems that may appear before they really do appear. So that's the disclaimer there. So as well as the formative work that your tutor will set, there's also a set of assignments that you have to complete and you'll be given grades for these which will then be entered into the software system and will constitute towards your final grade for this module. In semester one, there is an essay and a talk. The essay is worth 15% of the total module mark and the talk is worth 10% of the total module mark. Your tutor also has the discretion of assigning you a mark for what's called completing all work, which is both assessed and not assessed. 
and that's worth 10% as well. So it's vitally important that you engage with all parts of this module, complete all the work at your tutor set, engage with the feedback system, and so on. In semester two, you will have an essay, an abstract, and a presentation, and again, there's 10% for completing all work. The essay this time is worth 20%, abstract exercise is worth 15%, and the presentation is worth 20% of the module mark. So, very important that you complete all of these elements in order to gain the experience and the confidence in doing well and in your communication. Students who do well in this module tend to do really well throughout their course, especially those that are engaged heavily because the feedback is of good quality. In here you get lots of it, lots of good content. If you do fail this module then you will probably have to do a reset in the summer, which is a situation that you don't want to be in. So make sure you pass it. If you fail this module, then you will have to do a reset and you will have you may be in danger of not going on to the second year. It's vitally important you do pass this module. So where are the key skills that are going to be taught? Well I expect once you finish you feel more confident in science communication. You develop more theoretical thoughts, you'll be able to argue about certain cases. Basically, what we want is for you to start thinking like a scientist and communicating what you think confidently and it's distinct arguments. So, there's a variety of resources on Blackboard and you can go and look at these as part of the OSET 1000 module. If you have any questions whatsoever, then please contact me. I'm more than happy to help, and that's what I'm here for. If you have queries about what tutorials you're going to be having, etc., with your tutor, then talk to them at the first part of call. I'm really here for the oversight of the entire module. Okay, so good luck, and thank you. I hope you have a great time in your tutorials, and I hope that you really engage with this module, and then leave feeling that you've actually learned something from it.